Hello ladies and gentlemen, uh, Kava Sewer here, uh, coming at you with another video of Kava Review. Um, it's winter time, it's uh, really, really cold. We have the, we have the uh, Cyclone Bomb, um, or Bombogenesis, as I've heard elsewhere, coming at us from the, uh, the cruel Atlantic, the cool and stormy Atlantic. But we're doing our best, uh, the snow is piling up, you know, people are sliding around, but uh, you know, you just uh, you gotta get by, you gotta breathe deep, you gotta meditate, you gotta drink your kava, and uh, you know, just keep yourself leveled. Um, so yeah, I just got back from uh, California uh, about a week and a half ago, two weeks ago. Um, while I was out there, I had a, a chance to visit the uh, Wonderland Labs in San Diego, uh, North County, San Diego, and it was really impressive. Uh, I had a tour of Wonderland Labs. Um, it's they have so much amazing equipment there for processing, for extracting, and uh, for for testing kava, and uh, really, really uh, super hygienic, clean grounds. And I was just really impressed with the knowledge of Keith, who owns that uh, that lab. Um, and I was also really surprised. Uh, Kona Kava Farms sells out of that um, establishment. Um, they also vend other kavas as well, but they sell their kava out of that um, out of that building. And, uh, you know, I told Keith, hey, you know, uh, on the internet, uh, you know, Kona Kava Farms isn't really that popular of a vendor. You know, I think it would be, it'd be good if you had a little bit more of, a, of an internet presence. And I think he took that feedback well. We'll see what happens. Um, but I did get some samples from him to uh, review. I got a, a kava.com. This is a, a, a two-day kava route. And uh, now that we have a liberalized kava market, we can... We can start drinking some of these things again, and this is a uh, this is Kona Kava Farms. Uh, this is a Vanuatu Kava, um, a, a half kilo of it. Really excited to try that out too. Um, uh, again, you know, just I don't want to confuse people who are coming into Kava beginners, but uh, uh, there are two main categories of Kava um, that uh, Amer in the American Kava culture have been categorized. Um, these are not based on traditional categories. Uh, they're, they're based on um, uh, Western constructions. Uh, two day refers to two days uh, because the kava gives you kind of an afterglow effect uh, and it can go into the second day. That's why it's called two day. It comes from Melanesian pigeon or bislama. Uh, all kava has been proven by scientists to be safe, safe, um, healthy, uh, a much safer alternative to things like alcohol or other drugs. Um, it, it does not have uh, any um, negative impacts on your liver. You, you're, you're, you're fine drinking two day. Um, however, people people promote the consumption of noble kava because it uh, tends to be uh, more mild and doesn't have those next day effects. And um, they, they sometimes confuse two day kava um, some of these some of these individuals can confuse two day kava with wild kavas that that are that are more unpleasant. Um, so I just wanted to get all that out there, um, and uh, I'm still doing my fundraiser. I'm I, I'm almost I've almost met the uh, the amount that I need to uh, to fund my website for the next year. So uh, if you if you scroll down, you'll see a uh, a little advertisement for how you can support the Kava Sewer website. All right, so moving on. Uh, sorry for taking up so much time. Um, I want to do a review today of, well, I guess we'll call that a mini Tanoa talk. Um, I want to do a, a review today of uh, Bula Kava House's number one. This is 100 grams. I will probably drink all 100 grams or maybe half of this. Uh, it depends. Um, but all right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to brew this up or knead this up. This is a Vanuatu and Kava. Um, a Vanuatu and Kava. I've had this Kava before. Um, it's ridiculously strong. Um, I know I'm gonna love it. It's so it's, it's a bit peppy. It's a bit uppity, um, but but it's still like a great a great Kava to drink uh, when you're you know trying to kind of celebrate the second half of the day after you've gotten home from work, especially when there's like a foot of snow outside and it's 15 degrees outside. So all right, with no further ado, I'm gonna knead this up and I'm going to enjoy it. Thoroughly, Bula. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I have kneaded up the number one. What? That's more than it looks like. Um, I made a lot of it and I made it really strong. So crossing my fingers, you know, for, uh, 
for a, for a smooth ride. But uh, once again, it's Vanuatu and Kava from Bula Kava House. Number one. Number one is a Bislama word in Vanuatu. I don't know why I'm pointing so much. It's a it's a, a Pidgin English uh, Bislama word in Vanuatu, and it means number one. Number one, number one. Get it? Um, it's based on English, right? All right, so I'm going to uh, scoop out a shell of this. Oh, poof. If you see, I don't, uh, I don't wash my shells. It's the key to, uh, the key to curing in a shell. Yeah, it's nice and deep. It's a full Tanoa. Bula to the hula. Ah. Nice, strong, peppery Vanuatu kava. Tastes just like... Just like the dude wants, just like the kava sewer wants. I can't ask for more in a, um, a peppery Vanuatu uh, kava. Number one, ground kava root. Why drink one to start the session when you could drink two to start the session? Bula to the hula. All right. Like I said, smooth and peppery, you know, good for the olfactory. That's like a good old Vanuatu kava to, uh, to mellow out a Thursday afternoon. All right, I'm going to let this, uh, woo-hoo, hey. All right, I'm going to let this uh, settle in a bit. I'm going to drink about five or six more shells. It's going to get dark. You can see a lot of darkness in the background because I'm going to be crunked. It's going to be night. I'm going to be relaxing. I'm going to be forgetting about all the troubles in the world, all the failed leadership in the world, and I'm going to be uh, watching movies. All right. Bula. Well, all right. Uh, I've had about uh, eight shells of uh, number one, and I'm in that, that, nice, uh, that nice zone. Um, very... It's, it's a little bit different than what I remember it being like. Um, I remember number one being like more of a uh, kind of uppity kind of uh, momentum uh, <laughs> charged kind of kava. But uh, it, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a little really mellow in a really, really good way. Very strong, uh, but, but very mellow. Um, and uh, in some ways, uh, you know, much better. Uh, very, um, very heady. I would say very heady. Um, Bula. But I definitely have my crunk on. Now, you know, unbelievably so for a, for a Thursday night. Um, and, um, you know, just watching some Stephen Colbert, just catching up with the, with the jokes, with the news, uh, really uh, relaxing and... Um, yeah, so I'd say for flavor, you know, you got a, a good peppery Vanuatu and kava that's also pretty smooth for the most part. I'd say for heavy effects, you know, you got a really a really nice kava, a good, uh, a, 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 you know, a good 9.5 out of 10. And then for body effects, you know, it's it's a good 9 out of 10. It's, it's, it's very uh, good on the muscles, uh, very relaxing. Definitely, you know, good, good for uh, aches. Which I have some, you know, as a as a as a thirty six year old old man. No offense to those who are older than me out there who are watching this. And uh, you know, I started I started doing these cover reviews about ten years ago, so I was about twenty six, I guess, when I started doing these. So, uh, you know, a lot of changes in ten years. You know, cleaning my hair. But yeah, number one uh, from Bulacava House. You know, I, I I people always talk about it, and uh, it's been a long time since I had it, so I wanted to try it again, and I'm glad I did. A good job, Judd, out in Portland. You, you put out a really good product, a really premium product. Um, you know, coming off of the uh, the the Lika Hina from from Tonga, that special reserve that you had earlier this year. This is you can see that your product line is still solid, and uh, bullet to you for that. So yeah, number one, uh, kind of highlights. You know, good flavor, really strong heady effects. Uh, great for relaxation, great for anxiety. Uh, I, you know, I, I feel like I could go anywhere and do anything right now, and I wouldn't feel anxious about it. So those are all really, you know, nice positive things about this kava. Um, 
All right, everybody. Uh, that's all I got for this, uh, this, this edition of the Coffee Sewer podcast. Uh, I'm going to go back to my, to, to, to my, uh, Colbert and, and then, you know, probably watch a movie and, uh, fall asleep a little bit early tonight. Uh, all right. Catch you next time. Mula. Much love.